Artificial intelligence program AlphaGo defeated the world's top-ranked Go player KJ in the first of three games in East China's Zhejiang province. After four and a half hours of play, K, playing black, lost by 0.5 points, which is the narrowest margin possible in the game. When asked about the match, K said he was shocked by a couple of moves during mid-game talks as those moves wouldn't be played by a human. When a newly upgraded version of AlphaGo bolstered by reinforcement learning, the founder of DeepMind, the company behind AlphaGo, hopes K can help discover potential weaknesses of the program. It's especially interesting for us to see him use uh, some of the moves, like the 3-3 move from uh, the master series of games uh, against AlphaGo. And uh, we were very intrigued to see how AlphaGo would deal with uh, its own strategies. AlphaGo gained worldwide fame when it scored a landmark 4-1 victory over South Korean goal master Lee Sedol in a five-round showdown last year, overturning the long-held belief that machines can't be professional goal players due to the game's complex, intuitive and creative nature. Ki, 19, became the youngest champion in goal history after winning three world titles within the space of one year between January 2015 and January 2016. Microsoft turned up the heat on other technology giants by launching new tools and services to help developers build more intelligent apps. CEO Satya Nadella welcomed developers to Seattle for Build, the Redmond, Washington-based company's annual developer conference. Microsoft announced new data and cloud services and new A1 services that allow developers build apps with understanding and natural user interaction capabilities. AI is everywhere. The ability to reason over large amounts of data, create intelligence, distribute it. And I'm always inspired when I listen to these stories of an individual developer who develops this deep sense of empathy for a scenario and other human beings and then goes after it. Microsoft's latest moves underscore how its focus has evolved from its staple Windows software to the cloud where it's competing with Amazon to sell data storage and computing power. Extra analytics such as image recognition may prove key to luring web developers. Also proved was Project Emma, where researchers were challenged to work with Emma Lawton, a 32-year-old woman diagnosed with Parkinson's, unable to write or draw because of tremors in her hand. The team developed a device, worn on the wrist that vibrates in a distinctive pattern to disrupt the feedback loop between the brain and the hand. Emma has been able to regain her ability to write with the aid of the watch. Research firm International Data Corporation has forecast the market for such tools will balloon to over $47 billion in sales in 2020 from $8 billion in 2016.